Welcome to Starbrock State Park. My name is Lisa Sons and I am a Natural Resource Coordinator for the Illinois Department of Natural Resources on site at Starbrock and Matheson State Parks. Today we're going to talk about trail tips and this is going to be part of a series discussing different trail suggestions for first time visitors or even repeat visitors. The trail to LaSalle Canyon takes you along a four mile path of bluff, canyon, and river trails at the park. A shorter two mile version is available from Route 71 at the LaSalle Canyon parking lot just east of the park. Visitors can start from the Visitor Center's main parking lot and follow the brown trail signs to French Canyon. Search for signs of wildlife such as these raccoon tracks along the trail as you hike. Watch your step following the stone footholds back into French Canyon's 40 foot waterfall. From French Canyon, follow the stationary maps and brown trail signs to the Brown Bluff Trail to Wildcat Canyon. Along the Woodland Bluff Trail to Wildcat, take in the sights and sounds of the Oak Hickory Forest as gray squirrels, chipmunks, and pileated woodpeckers call out hello. Enjoy the western or eastern overlooks of Wildcat Canyon's 90-foot waterfall. Spot rough-winged swallows flitting in and out of the St. Peter Sandstone Canyon walls. Follow the boardwalk around Wildcat's Bluff and turn right at the brown sign stating Sandstone Point. Continue on the Brown Bluff Trail to Sandstone Point where you'll notice the orange coloration in the rock is due to the mineral iron oxidizing and coming to the porous surface. Be prepared for staircases on this trail as you hike down the stairs at Lone Tree Canyon and take a right as you follow the red marked river trail to LaSalle Canyon. Please remember that Tontai Canyon is permanently closed to all users. Take in the stone and wood bridge as you cross the creek before taking a right into LaSalle Canyon. The bridge was constructed in the 1930s by the Civilian Conservation Corps, in which Starve Rock State Park hosted three different companies at the park during President Roosevelt's New Deal program that helped put young men back to work after the Great Depression. Once inside LaSalle Canyon, take a moment to walk behind the 25-foot waterfall, which happens to be the only bridal veil fall in the park. Remember, no swimming or wading at the park. Cross back over the stone CCC bridge and follow the Red River Trail markers to the bottom of Wildcat Canyon. On your way, look for wildlife such as the northern banded water snake. Don't worry, they are harmless and just looking to sun themselves along the water's edge. Can you find signs of our wildlife engineers, such as the North American beaver, as you continue along the river to three overlooks at the park, Beehive, Eagle Cliff, and Lover's Leap? After your visit to Lover's Leap, where you can watch the barges pass through the Star Rock Lock and Dam, follow the Jacob's Ladder Staircase to the right, back towards the Visitor Center and Main Parking Lot. Thank you for walking the trails with us today. Happy trails!